Hello everyone, this is Russell Lowe speaking and uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to apply a uh, alpha channel material to an object in Crisis Wars in the Sandbox 2 uh, editor for Crisis Wars. Um, you remember from uh, one of the other tutorials that looked at uh, fixing the um, material problem that you get when you export from play up to a uh, a mod file rather than a regular file and you can uh, you'd be familiar with this uh, result where you get a uh, object that's just got the default texture on it and when we look into the uh, uh, the textures file that's created you can see that there's a tiff and we uh, simply open this up into Photoshop and created a uh, DDS texture so we're going to do that again uh, so that's um, the same texture in Photoshop um, this time uh, I'm going to add, sorry, I need a little bit more room here, um, I'm going to add an alpha channel to the channels in this um, texture and then export it. So uh, click on this button here that will add a new channel. You can see that it's black, that means it's completely transparent and white would mean that it's uh, uh, slightly opaque uh, or everything in between. So I'm just going to go up to the RGB channel and I'm going to maybe turn that off for a second, going to uh, select all of that, control C to copy it and then I'm going to paste it onto the alpha channel uh, and now everything that's white you'll see and everything that's sort of grey will be slightly translucent and everything that's black will be uh, opaque uh, so we won't leave it like that, um, what I'll do is I'll add a, um, a colour halftone to it and these are the settings I found sort of um, uh, made quite a reasonable result. Uh, the size of this will give you the size of the um, circle you'll see in just a second. Uh, so there you go, that's maximum size of 8. Um, if you want those uh, circles to be bigger then you'd um, make that number bigger. Uh, so now we can go back in and, and see, you get a, a rough idea of the effect. What it's doing is um, uh, going to perforate this image. Uh, so now I'll uh, deselect everything and if I'll do a save as and save this as the same name but a DDS and uh, hit save. Uh, this is important, save it as DTX1 ARGB so 4 bits per pixels 1 bit alpha. Save that and then close it all down. Um, so you can see now we've got it here. Uh, if I go into the environment I should be able to reload and it comes up. Now it's not looking exactly as we want, it seems to be sort of combining uh, the images, the black and white and the alpha channel rather than uh, using it to cut through the image. So if we open up the material editor and select the eyedropper that will take us directly to that material. All we need to do is uh, change this figure, uh, the slider on the alpha test and as soon as we do that you can see that it's changing um, and dithering the edge just uh, a different amount so let's leave it at about sort of 50 and then I'll close the material editor um, you can see that it's casting some nice shadows I'll jump into the game oops a little bit high there uh, and you can see Aldo Rossi uh, big on the front there and uh, up the stairs Old Aldo Rossi smaller on the back. Uh, so this must, might be an opportunity to think about things like perforations and uh, screening uh, and things that are in between being sort of solid and translucent. Um, you might not want to employ the sort of bold graphic approach, you might like to, uh, but you can think of a whole bunch of different things that you can do in Photoshop to give you some a range of different textures uh, to think about that transparency. Cheers. Have a crack at that.